What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to plant cabbage in under five minutes. Okay. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to try to do that. Kind of like my potato video, which you guys loved. This cabbage I got from my neighbor. They planted a whole bunch of cabbage and they were like, Nabil, you want some? And I was like, sure. Totally, man. <laughs> I have a lot of cabbage here already planted. I'm going to flip the camera and show you guys, but you can never have too much. Right? With all the engineered food shortages, that's just going to get worse and worse. If you have more, well, you can, you can share more, essentially. These have flowered, so they're going to spread their seed. But if you want them to continue to grow, then you cut off the flowers, right? But I have so many, I just said, whatever. It looks nice, right? They look pretty, so... See all those leaves, those cabbage leaves? It's actually perfect weather. It's not too hot, not too cold. As you're plowing the soil, you're not gonna get too hot. You know, you're not gonna sweat like a pig. All right, so as you can see, this is where I planted all of the potatoes last week. This upper half I did a couple days after because more of the my potatoes began to sprout and I was like, this would be a waste if I didn't plant them. So I did that. But let's just go down here and see. And by the way, my dog Justice, he, he just destroyed this whole thing. He's, he started jumping and flipping all over this and destroying a lot of it. But you can see that they're already beginning to grow. You can see these small sprouts. Look. You see this? This is a potato. You'll see this one right here. This one's growing. This one's growing. This one's growing. So I would call this a, a, a great success for my first time. This one's growing. All, all of them. Look, look at this one. This one's huge. So guys, this was pretty quick. Look at that one. That one's, oof. This one right here is exploding. Look at this. This one, that one, and this, this guy's on steroids. So anyways, guys, so this is a great success. I can already tell you. <sighs> great success. Uh, let's take a look at my banana trees. Now these guys were here when I bought the place, so I don't take any credit for it, but I have been maintaining them. And you'll see that the bananas are already, already growing. They're tiny, they're very sweet, organic, obviously, right? This one here is also, also giving fruit. Okay, let's go back up there and start plowing some regush, they call it. Regush, or lanes. These guys, they're so invasive. Tobacco trees, tobacadoes. Look, all of these here. I didn't plant them. They grew by themselves. They're so invasive. They want to get into your pants. Look at these guys. Come on, man. I just plowed three lanes because that's all I need. I don't have that many cabbages to plant and like I said one cabbage goes a long way like throughout the year it'll grow one layer second layer third fourth and then if you cut off the flowers it'll just keep growing so especially for one guy you don't need that much so just three lanes is enough because I want to save some space for tomatoes for cucumbers etc okay so that was like what three minutes three minutes to plow and now we're gonna plant the cabbages that'll take a couple minutes and then fertilizer something like that right 
then you want to stick her in and then with your boot this is gangsta style by the way my neighbors didn't teach me so this is gangsta style this is that's the way we do it and then you want to kind of like make the soil compact and there you go that's one next Right, there you go just like that there you go gangsta style just like that again we're not aiming for perfection we're aiming to not starve to death at the hands of these depopulationists that's the goal right and this does the job I've never done this before, by the way, but I'm just using my head, using common sense. And now I'm gonna go grab the fertilizer. I'm gonna dump it here in that small little lane and then cover it up so the wind doesn't blow the fertilizer away, okay? So let's go grab the fertilizer. So this is fertilizer, right? I bought from the shop. This is. The one my neighbors swear by and they say they say you need it to make your plants grow and i'm a puritan like most of you i want to grow organic oh man i just gotta i just gotta let that sit i'm all about organic farming right and so i looked up the ingredients and guys it's really just potassium uh, copper phosphorus etc nutrients that are depleted in the soil and which the plants need to thrive, right? It's almost like nutrition therapy, but for plants. Now you might argue, wouldn't it be preferable to use natural fertilizers like poop, right? Like cow manure, sheep manure, chicken manure, maybe your own manure, right? Maybe, maybe your dog's manure, right? And that's true. But right now I haven't gotten into that fully. So I'm gonna use this for now. Just so you guys can see with your own eyes. Look, look at the ingredients. Okay. Azoto. Ammonia. Phosphorus. It may be like synthetic. You know, that's the only thing. It may not be as natural as uh, poop is, right? So that might be the downfall trioxide of copper you know maybe that's not the best form of copper so do let me know if you guys have more experience let me know why natural fertilizers poop is far superior to uh synthetic okay is this synthetic is it not but i'm just doing it for now right just doing it for now i don't use glyphosate you know, I don't use pesticides, that's for sure. But I am definitely open to improving when it comes to the type of fertilizer I use moving forward. A lot of these guys, believe it or not, they use glyphosate. Can you imagine? They have permeated the eugenicists and Monsanto. They have permeated the most remote and most pristine areas in the world. The top of the mountaintops. And these guys use glyphosate and they tell me to use it too and i'm like hell no you know what i'm saying hell no Ugh. holy let's cut her open so you see what i did here right not too close to the roots okay i'm just gonna place the fertilizer in there grab some more Okay, maybe another bit. You know, all the other ones that I grew up there in my garden, I use zero fertilizer, guys. So I'm just saying, right? You don't need to put too much. So that's it. Now I'm just going to cover it up. I can do that actually right now with one hand so you guys can watch. 
let me just zoom out. All you do is just like that, right? It doesn't have to be too fancy schmancy. Just cover it up so the wind doesn't blow it away. And when it rains next time, it's been raining here almost every year, every day. Just a little bit every day, which is just perfect. I mean, that's it. You can stomp it down if you want. Just like that. And voila, ladies and gentlemen. Voila, done deal. Okay, done deal. And now you just wait for these guys to pop. Now they look a little morbid and yellow, but that's because they haven't gotten water. You know, they've been removed from the soil for over a week. So their vitality will be renewed now that they have been planted again. But you know what, this whole process took me about what, an hour and a half, two hours top of my day on a beautiful Sunday, getting sweet exercise in nature, grounding myself, getting some vitamin D, you know, and that's what you really need to think about. Is it is it not worth the effort? Just spending an hour and a half, two hours of your day growing cabbage. This this cabbage would feed an entire family for a couple years, guys. Because like I said, they grow tall. They keep delivering. You cut the uh, flowers. They just keep giving. They just keep giving. They're viral. You don't have to maintain them. They'll just keep giving for years. Two hours of your life, one hour and a half. If you're with family, in like 20 minutes, you'll get this done, right? Today, plant some cabbage. Tomorrow, plant some potatoes. You need to get rid of your beautiful grass front lawns. Turn them into farms, guys. Turn them into farms. It'll make a huge difference. The time you spend driving, spending all that money on, uh, on fuel, and the time you spend in the supermarket far exceeds the amount of time you'd spend growing your own food which is free from cancer causing chemicals okay and you have that peace of mind that you and your family you're not being poisoned to death with with glyphosate your your children's genders are not being bent with atrazine okay they're not vaccinating you through your food supply that's something they've been doing for a while creating fruit vaccines vegetable vaccines so again guys the most important thing you can do in 2022 and beyond is to learn how to grow your own food reclaim control of your food supply guys put an end to the poisoning okay just like your ancestors okay just like your ancestors cue the music <laughs> In Canada, the uh, prices of, of homes and land has risen by 100% over the past four years. Okay? 100%. It's doubled. Most people can't afford it anymore. And it's going to keep rising. The corrupt ruling class, they are buying up land like never before. Bill Gates is now the number one farmland owner in the United States of America. Okay? And he owns the company Monsanto, which is actively poisoning you, okay? So that's, that's dangerous stuff, guys. That is very dangerous stuff. You guys need to prioritize, okay? Family, friends, prioritize and buy up some land, which is the most important thing you can do. Don't get fooled by the metaverse. Don't, you know, invest all your money in the fake <laughs> land and, and homes uh, because that's what they want you to do as they buy up the real land okay don't be fooled buy up your own land start growing your own food and you know it's all part of the un agenda 2030 world economic forum slogan by 2030 you will own nothing and be happy and we are well on our way to owning nothing the greatest wealth transfer took place during the scandemic right most people didn't even know the greatest wealth transfer in history and it's continue it's going to continue okay so you gotta buy your own land that's the most important thing you can do and start growing your own food it's not it's not difficult what do you guys think huh what do you guys think man good boy man.
<laughs> My neighbors just hooked me up with some banana maracuja, banana passion fruit. So, they're pretty wild here. We have the round passion fruit, which is my favorite, which I have on my farm. But this one's not bad either. Pretty good, pretty good stuff. 